today, I'm doing this, our kitchen cabinet shelves. So, um, I just kind of tossed things up there for now as like a placeholder, but today I wanna take it from like, eh, to like, yes. So basically, this is all of my kitchen stuff. Now my vision for this today is not to make it look perfect because this is our kitchen and it needs to be functional. It's not like a typical bookshelf. I do have another bookshelf in the house that I painted white and I have two shelves on there that are, the books are in rainbow order and they're so, they make me so happy. This is kind of just all a collection of stuff I love and I just kind of tossed it up here for now because I wanted to just get it up so I could live with it and figure out what do I want to do with this area and what I really think is the English countryside cottage vibe where it's not like too perfect. It's like it's lived in and it doesn't look like everything is measured to perfection, but it still has a quaint maximalist vibe to it. And that's kind of what I'm going for. I want this to be very livable and very lived in and um, very inviting. So um, I'm literally gonna take everything down and put it all back up. So what I've kind of decided I would like to have are a few focal points, a few of these boxes. I want them to be like, wow. So the boxes that I want to stand out are gonna be like, obviously the, these main five, I think. Let's try it. First of all, if you know me, you know I hate paying full price for anything ever. This was from Facebook Marketplace and I got it for $100. I know. I had been looking on Facebook Marketplace for either a piece like this for this exact spot in the kitchen or like an antique buffet server table. So ultimately, Stephen and I really wanted something that had a higher surface area where we could just put more stuff. So we went with this one. And I had to be patient. Like I will tell you, Facebook Marketplace will have what you're looking for, but just be patient. Just kind of be consistent with checking on Facebook Marketplace. I knew what we had been needing and I knew what we were looking for. So we went and got it and I love it because she painted it white and she took the doors off, which I love because I don't want the doors on. She gave us the doors, which is great, but I love the openness of this. So anyway, that's my um, never pay full price spiel. I got these little salt and pepper shakers in an antique store, $5 for both of them. Got my mom's staffies that she generously gave to me. And now the thing here too is I don't know how much, how many beverages I'm gonna wanna keep on here. I don't know. We have a bar card for that. So do we even need to keep the beverages on here? I don't think so, but the glassware, yes. Ginger jar cocktail napkins. Mint julep has my camera lens coat. I got this plate for $5. I've made it a rule for my plate wall that I'm not gonna spend over $15 for one plate because I think it makes it more fun. I wanna have a plate wall that's like overflowing with plates. Of abundant with plates. So I don't want to like look at that plate wall and be like that plate was $30, that plate was $30. <gasps> I want to have an abounding plate wall one day. So responsibly, I shouldn't spend any more than like $15 on one plate. Heck, $5 on one plate. If I can find a plate for $5, then I'll alert the presses. I think I like the idea of books being lower. I feel like it anchors it a little better. Books, base. Okay, and with that, it's empty. So, my inspiration for bookshelf styling is very maximalist. I love um, to look at a bookshelf and not be able to look away. 
away from it. So that's kind of what I'm going for. There are a few anchor pieces I have in my mind to be, you know, more of the blue and white theme. And I love the idea of in bookshelves to layering heights. So like maybe I'll have a photo in one of the cubbies to add height and then maybe like something smaller. So, okay, I do have like a few focal pieces in my mind that I want to really kind of anchor this. So this was my wedding present from my sister. Thanks, Caroline. The great thing about this piece is that it has little grooves in the back for um, Larry. So I can have a good you know, peace of mind about layering that. So um, blue and white is definitely my go-to here. So that's kind of going to be the theme here. Now this was a present from Steven's mom. So my sweet mother-in-law got this for us for Christmas and I adore it. But I had an idea. I thought, I mean, I could display it like that, but I'd like to show off more of this spode, the most spode that I possibly can. So, I thought, let's do that. Because it's like another little platter under there. Um, it's a great surfwear piece. Another thing I love are these bamboo frames, especially against the white. They give like a nice contrast. Look at my baby as a baby. There's nothing cuter in all this world than baby Steven. Now I need to come back and look at this. A better idea. back and look. I like that. I want height and the eye to be drawn to these five. So. I'm literally just playing around with it. This is how I Um, 
Something with height, okay, so this is something that we use a lot, actually. This spode pitcher, which I adore. Um, now I have an idea. <gasps> it fits. It fits. Okay, so what do I do with this? Napkins and our salt and pepper shakers. Maybe. And then, um, maybe, oh, this candle needs to go somewhere. I actually really like the idea of using a cocktail napkin as like a candle coaster. So that's what's gonna happen there. And then we can put the rest right here in our little bowl. I love box with box. Um, okay, since I have one up here, I should have one. I don't know. Maybe here, and then he can go back here and kind of anchor that what do we think about this? Let me come back and look. Yeah, I, I like it. Okay, so another tip of mine is your bookshelf will often cast a shadow on whatever's inside it. I like to bring my elements kind of a little forward. So this Issa Laurent book is actually over the edge, but I think that's fine. You can still see it better. But that's kind of a good rule of thumb kind of bring things forward that you want to be seen. So I think I'm done. What do we think? I like it. I'm happy with that. I'm gonna sit with that for a minute, but I really feel like that is so, I, I don't know, you can just, you feel like very, it feels very accessible. It, it doesn't feel stuffy. It feels like, come over here, grab a pitcher, grab a napkin. It doesn't feel like too perfect. And that's what I like about this. Um, I think I'm gonna sit with this for a while, but I really like this. Let me know, comment below your questions um, and anything else you wanna know about decorating. Hope y'all enjoyed today's book styling. It's not really bookshelf styling, it's like kitchen cabinet styling. Um, so, I'm happy with it. I like it. All right, I love you guys. I hope you're having a wonderful Sunday and God bless.